Goosebumps is rated GB7 because it may be too spooky for Goosebumps fans under 7. Alright, so this one most likely won't be rewriting. Oh, okay, well. Anyways, uh, hello Goosebumps fans. This won't be rewriting a book because that was part of the stick of Pop Arena. So instead, we're just going to talk about capabilities or possibilities that they didn't go with. For Squid Jibs, though, the idea that the parents were raising kids who they turned into chickens so they can be eaten, it sounded like the messed up version, twisted version of My Harry's Avenger. Which, if he would have went down that road, it will just be something that he already did before. So that's why that one's like a total no. For me, I just thought, hey, how about this option? Just like I said, she was looking at them. How about the fact of where they were not only hating the chickens, but they were mistreating them. And because they were mistreating them, what she decides to do was teach them a lesson about, you know, chickens don't deserve to be treated like that. And she decides to turn them into chickens <laughs> so they can actually have an appreciation for chickens or something like that. And that works, right? Yeah, you get to see messed up stuff about them being chickens and they're like, mom, dad is me, mom, dad, and nothing. And well, hopefully when it comes to Vanessa, it's like when they she find them, that's like, oh, they learned your lesson. They turn back into, you know, kids. Yeah, and it gets funny where it's like, oh, you want to twist ending? The twist ending is that, oh, now the parents actually got them pigs. It's like, oh, we hate pigs so much. And they push the pig over, and she's like, oh, okay, pig, pig. She's <laughs> like, yeah, so it's like, it's PETA. It's, it's another book that PETA would love to have in their freaking catalog. It's like, oh, great, it's PETA. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> it's like, it's a PETA love book. Other than that, I don't know what else to really say to that besides maybe just the fact of just twisting it around to where maybe we get to the point of, <sighs> for Chicken Chicken, I would say perhaps we have them pranking him. She doesn't care about freaking manners. The thing is, is that she enjoys having chickens or there's something about this spell that she does that makes the chickens extra delicious. And because of that, she likes to poach kids and eat them. So basically, the freaking punkers over there, well, she basically turns them into chickens. Or at least she turns maybe Anthony and Cole into chickens. And she's about to eat them. And it's only up to Crystal to save them and may even change them back. And a good battle between... Vanessa and Crystal, and who knows, will Vanessa meet her end? Maybe not. Maybe Vanessa turn into a pig herself, and then there he goes. Like, something like that, where it's like, oh, this will be an interesting thing. But other than that, this is just nothing but, like, scribbles. Yeah, I don't have, like, a real thing of being like, oh, this is how to save the book. But just something that's like, it could have leaned this way, it could have leaned that way. But I really like the idea of where she was just basically walking around. She sees that these two kids don't actually treat the chickens with respect. It's kind of like they're not at all taking good care of them. And she's like, oh, well, I'm going to take matters to my own hands and actually teach them a lesson to actually care for these chickens. Because these poor darlings deserve to not get hurt like that. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. Have a scary day. Have a scary night.